Hi uh, again, and welcome to the latest webinar by Xopera. Um, I'll ask you to write in the chat if you can hear me well, and we are starting in in a minute. So first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Sergey. I'm business development manager at Xopero. And today we're going to speak about a very important topic, ransomware. Who hasn't heard about the damage it can bring? Data loss, financial and reputational damage, and the list we can continue. Just imagine every 11 seconds ransomware targets its victim somewhere in the world. But before we jump at discussing ransomware in detail, let me introduce our company. We've been active on the market for over 15 years now. Uh, we are a backup solution provider from Poland based in Gorzow. For those years, we have been creating, developing and supplying our solution to make sure we offer you the best backup software to fit uh, your needs and expectations. With over 10 million devices protected for thousands of customers in over 60 countries worldwide, we can safely say we continue to grow and expand our presence on the global markets. A few words about security, which we treat extremely seriously. Not only we take care that our backup solution wasn't as secure as possible, but we also have very high standards for ourselves. We are ISO 27001 certified and SOC2 certified. Type 1 done, type 2 in progress. We put great attention to data processing and how the data uh, are processed inside of our company. All that to provide top security to our and your customers. When it comes to our top partners, we are in constant communication with ESET as we are a part of ESET Technology Alliance program which basically means that we are the only backup and disaster recovery solution recommended by ESET. Some of our other partners that are worth mentioning here are for sure Wasabi, provider of uh, our Xopera Cloud Storage, T-Mobile and Orange, so two huge telecom companies that offer our cloud backup solution to their customers as well as Atlassian uh, and GitHub. As with them, we work to provide backup for DevOps environments, Another product of ours called Git Protect, which uh, will not be our main focus today, though. Lotus Petro Baltic, one of our biggest customers we have. Uh, it's a Polish company that specializes in drilling rigs out on the open seas. Another company is NetGuru, the biggest software house in uh, Europe, based in Poland. Uh, also one of our prestigious uh, clients, they actually use Git Protect, which I mentioned a few seconds ago. When it comes to international implementations, it's surely worth to mention Gladstone Institute, who actually just renewed their licenses for another year, uh, Wharton University of Pennsylvania, or Hardy County Schools, one of our largest customers from the USA. British in NHS is here to prove that we also are trusted by the medical sector, and recently we gain more and more customers among hospitals and health clinics, as well as, for example, Medical University of Warsaw that uses our solution to protect an outstanding amount of 4,000 uh, M365 accounts. Uh, you can read more uh, about uh, more information about it on our website, so I definitely encourage you to do so. And let's get back to our main topic, which is ransomware protection. So what are the best practices to ensure your business continue to eliminate data loss? Yeah, before you even say anything, I can confirm backup. Let's not for, uh, forget the alarming statistics. Every 11 seconds, some company is hit by cyber criminal with ransomware. 
so it's not question if you will be a victim but mostly when you will be a victim of ransomware during today's webinar we will show you how to avoid negative consequences of such an attack and how to run your business even when your internal network got affected let's get started ransomware is a kind of malware which limits access to infected system or data and requires to pay a ransom the most common attack ve uh, vector is email phishing uh, so phishing rece uh, vi victim receives fa uh, fake email with a specially prepared attachment which is able to run ransomware in 1992 sebastian von solms and david nekage developed the idea of an anonymous money system to safely collect ransom money for kidnapping people. 1996, Adam L. Young and Moti Young developed the first cryptovirus on Mac that combines symmetric uh, TEA encryption with asymmetric RSA. The virus had only an encrypted public key and there was no private key in, that, uh, in it so uh, that would allow the data decryption. Uh, 2005, uh, from that year, the strength uh, of RSA keys used for encryption began to grow. 2013, the first ransomware that used Bitcoin, active from September 2013 to May uh, 2014, extorted until December 2013 uh, $27 million. Uh, Worryingly, the most popular vector of ransomware attacks is email phishing. Usually it follows the same pattern. The attacker sends the victim an email in which he pretends to be a trusted entity, for example, a courier company. The company allegedly sends the customer an email with an invoice that is attached to it. An invoice is actually an exploit that runs when you try to open a document. The ransomware download starts. So the encryption software starts working infecting the victim's computer, connected network drives, and in worst cases, other computers on the, uh, on the network. A ransom prompt is displayed on the victim's computer. Of course, this is not the only method of attack. So let's talk about some numbers. According to Zeta researches to the most common re uh, reasons of your uh, business downtime, we can include electricity issues, hardware errors, human mistake, and malicious software. That is why it's so important to have a disaster recovery scenario implemented in our own in business. Such scenario would let you restore most crucial business systems running despite, uh, despite an uh, IT incident. So backup solution implemented in your company needs to secure your ability to restore most important systems such as ERPs, CRM, databases, etc. All researches uh, says that around 60% of companies that got touched by IT incident were not able to run longer than next six months. It's all about data loss. So your customer's data is gone, production stops, your business partners don't trust you like they did before, etc., etc. That is why here in Xopera software, we put a lot of pressure to develop unique disaster recovery technology, thanks to which you will be able to avoid these negative consequences no matter what. Uh, one of the biggest costs that is paid by, uh, by a company is lack of access to following systems, databases, where all your business data is located, email, domain, CRM, ERP system and ransomware mostly is targeted to uneducated or unaware end users. Uh, so that is why it's extremely crucial to educate your staff how to avoid, prevent such danger. But when danger happens to your team, uh, your, your team needs to know uh, what to do next, right? So one of the basic, uh, very basic routine is to perform backups daily to make sure that your copy always includes newest files, email, databases, etc. But as statistics say, only 4% of end users make backup each day. Uh, since a few years, we, we see how IT awareness 
grows day by day, we are more and more aware about the real cost of getting hit by ransomware. The real cost is time. Time you need to sacrifice to restore your data, to make your business running again. And that is why Xopero implemented unique technologies that makes possible to go back to your files, state or system uh, and um, from the moment just before uh, ransomware attacked. Thanks to our uh, technologies, you will be able to run your critical devices as virtual machines, literally in a few minutes, uh, so the downtime is limited to minimum. Also restore whole devices, which, which has all data on it, OS, applications, settings, drivers, etc. Um, as you can see here, 94% uh, 90, 90, um, of ransomware includes an attempt to encrypt uh, a backup repository first. Uh, as much as 68% of uh, backup repositories were completely or partially damaged. For example, when it comes to Xopera software, uh, the backup and the, uh, disaster recovery solution provides you with immutable backups. So even in case if your storage is affected, um, ransomware won't infect other backup files since um, all the files are kept separately and they can be deleted or uh, modified neither by uh, a person, an attacker or malware. Uh, last year, um, almost almost two million, so 1.85 million uh, US dollars is the average ransom value. 32% of victims pay the ransom, but on average, only 65% of their data are recovered. As I said at the very beginning, this year, accordingly to research, will hit in every 11 seconds. So majority of attack was targeted to healthcare, finances sector uh, was affected on the second place, constructions on third, all together with such strategic industries like energy, manufacturing, etc. And this card shows one thing, there are no safe industry, no matter where you are, in finance, insurance or energy, your business can be hit. And from business uh, point of view, I would like to underline that each dollar spent on, on backup solution will be equal to $4 saved when your company is a victim of ransomware. Quite often decision is hard to be made to spend money on backup solution, solution that is not visible on a regular day or to spend money to invest in business development. Well, the best choice would do to invest here and here but if you think in long perspective, data protection solution needs to be a priority, especially when it can bring real savings to you. And here are 10 tips to protect against ransomware. First of all, don't pay the ransom. You have no guarantee to get your data back, as I mentioned before. Stay alert, analyze your email messages. Don't click on suspicious links and attachments. Perform a backup daily. Set an automatic backup task. With Xopero, uh, as you might know, a lot of processes can be automated. Use a user account on a daily basis, not an administrative account. Create a disk image. You can virtualize a physical device to restore your machine faster. This means that if one day your physical machine becomes unavailable, you can easily restore it as a virtual machine. Uh, caref carefully assign permissions to co corporate network resources. Make sure you use a safe and reliable antivirus. Disable remote desktop. The unprotected RDP protocol is a favorite backdoor of hackers. Of course, update your operating system regularly. Hackers love unpatched system vul vulnerabilities. And turn off uh, your computer from the network immediately uh, in case and, or when you're, you're, you're suspect uh, a ransomware attack. So how to prevent the data loss of uh, or expensive ransom? 
um, Xopero um, gives you the, the options to um, replicate for uh, such options, let's say. Uh, you may replicate your backups from one storage to another storage, either a local storage or to the cloud. Uh, we also provide you with S3 compatible storage support. This means that you can either add uh, public cloud storages, which are S3 compatible like Amazon, Wasabi, Azure, Backblaze B2, Google Cloud, or any other private cloud, uh, which is S3 compatible. Additionally, you can, uh, you can um, have a local S3 compatible uh, storage, either on a NAS device, or um, if you use our uh, Xopper Unified protection, so it's it's a backup appliance. Um, also, you have the possibility to create different different roles or to to create different permission levels uh, for different users. Let's say one user will be admin, another user will be simply a recovery operator, so he will be able to restore uh, your backups, but uh, not be able to change, delete, modify any uh, existing uh, any existing backup tasks. Also, uh, you can get uh, regular SLA reports and compliance reports within one single console. Um, what's important uh, that the console can be accessed from uh, it, it's a web-based uh, interface. Uh, and you can manage all your infrastructure within this single installation, within uh, this single console. The files are uh, stored uh, in a non-executable form. Uh, also, the immutable storage, which is write once, read many. Um, as I mentioned previously, you can have multiple backup destinations and automatically um, Send, send copies of your backups or replicate your, your data to another storage. Um, there is a feature of instant backup verification, which is uh, important if you, um, if you have your, your data, um, uh, a backup of your VMs, uh, etc. For example, you can uh, verify that this uh, backup can be restored uh, and there were no errors. Storage notification data uh, stored outside of the backup agent. And um, you have the options to either instantly restore the whole machine or uh, to restore just, uh, just some specific files with, with granular recovery. When it comes to restore and disaster recovery, Xopro provides with the comprehensive disaster recovery technology. Uh, what does it mean? So first, uh, from any point in time, you can restore uh, also any to any. This means that uh, you can restore a VMware VM to a Hyper-V VM, for example, or vice versa. Uh, and um, you can either restore, um, as I mentioned previously, a physical machine, as a virtual machine, or uh, you can anytime export your backups to one of the formats, VHD, VMDK, VHDX, and later mount them uh, in another hypervisor. This is possible as well. Um, bare metal recovery is also available, so you can restore any physical machine to, uh, to another physical machine which uh, uh, needs to, to, to have the, the same amount of storage or, or larger. Um, granular recovery, as I mentioned, is, uh, is possible. So you don't need to re restore the whole VM. If you need any specific files or folders, it's possible to restore uh, in a granular mode. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. I would be happy to answer. Uh, you have the chat available and you can also write your questions to the chat so that I can quickly answer your questions. By the way, let me remind you that we have uh, the trial version uh, available on, the, uh, on our website, 
Swapper.com, uh, which gives you uh, 30 days of, uh, of uh, a full featured uh, solution. No, uh, no, any limitations, so you can start testing it. By the way, it's also available. Uh, you can use it as MSP console to manage your customers' backup. Uh, if needed, we can extend this period so you can test even more. Um, and there are both options of, of installations. The first is is the simplest one, I would say. Uh, it's installed on in our cloud. You just uh, uh, add your your machine or machines which you need to back up. Uh, Xopera will uh, install uh, an agent for this. Another method is that you can download and install it on premise. So both both methods. Uh, as for the licensing, I see one question uh, regarding the licensing. Um, we have we propose both perpetual or subscription licenses. So um, you can you can um, you can be even more flexible. Uh, with uh, with the licensing uh, with providing the licensing to your customers we keep both uh, options of course uh, what's regarding the backup for office 365 users uh, it's charged per user and it is uh, based on a subscription I see the question in the chat what physical machines can you back up so first of all uh, you can back up uh, windows or linux servers or uh, workstations but also mac os and the licenses for this backup uh, they are charged per machine so even if your customer has only one physical machine to back up it's possible uh, so he will require only one license for the physical uh, uh, endpoint physical workstation. Other questions? Yeah, and let me remind you that we will send uh, an email, probably most probably tomorrow, with the recording of this webinar. Uh, and I guess there will be also the link to download. Uh, to, to to install and to, to try um, our trial. It's always possible to schedule um, a meeting with our pre-sales engineers, for example, who will gladly assist you with configuring the solution or, for example, if you would like to know more questions on, uh, on uh, Xopero Backup, either on uh, Xopro Unified Protection, which is our uh, product uh, a backup appliance, uh, or for example, regarding uh, Git Protect. Uh, so you can uh, backup uh, GitHub, GitLab, Jira, or Bitbucket. Uh, please drop me an email, here are my contacts, and I will also mention them in my uh, in my email or my uh, my colleagues email tomorrow so you have my contacts please let me know if you will have any questions if you will need any uh, assistance okay so i don't see any other questions I believe this webinar was informative for you. Um, we are preparing another uh, webinars on, on the topics of um, data protection uh, pretty soon. So um, thank you for your participation. I wish you a um, good end of the day and a uh, nice week. Thank you again. See you soon. Bye-bye.